Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day you're watching this, I'm glad you're here. We're continuing our online devotions this week, the complaints of the prophets. Today we'll be looking at the prophet Micah. And he poses the question with, what shall I go before the Lord? And the Lord responds, you know what you're supposed to do. Walk humbly with your God. We'll talk about that and more. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thought we'd sing a bit differently today. And by that, I mean, we're just going to sing. You see, I think it's a cool tradition that we just let our voices do the singing. We don't need a mass choir. We don't need an instrument to accompany us. We don't need some cool contemporary praise band to lead us. All we need to praise and worship our God is our voice. And so I thought we'd do that together now. We're going to sing the common doxology together. I encourage you to sing along and join me. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen indeed. Let it be so. Our scripture reading for today is taken from Micah 6, beginning at verse 6. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. I really like this piece of scripture because the person comes before God and says, what can I do to come before you? Or what can I do to be made holy? Or in other words, what can I do to forgive my sins? And he gives a list that gets more and more intense. He starts off with saying, what shall I do to come before the Lord? Should I bow before you? Should I worship you? Maybe I should come before you with a burnt offering. Maybe a calf a year old. Okay, maybe more than that. What about a thousand of thousands of rams? Or maybe 10,000 rivers of oil? Maybe even more than that. Should I give my firstborn so that my transgression could be forgiven? And look at what the Lord responds. He says, he's told you what you should do. He has told you how you should be holy, how you are made holy. You're supposed to do justice and love kindness and walk humbly with your God. You see, I think this relates to us because maybe you're like me. And oftentimes you think in order to forgive your sins, you somehow have to prove to God that you're really sorry for your sins. Lord, I will show you that I'm sorry by watching extra devotions this week, by reading extra scripture. Maybe I'll put a little more tithe in the offering plate this week. You know, Lord, I will do 10 nice things to someone today. I think we've all maybe been there at one point. We've all said, what should I do to really show God that I am sorry for what I've done? This is how I can be made holy. But look at what God says. That's not what he asks of us at all, especially as Christians. I think the starting place that we need to remind ourselves is God tells us our sins are forgiven by simply walking humbly with our Lord. What does this look like? 
All we simply need to do is go before our Lord, say, Lord, I'm sorry. And because of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, because of what he did on the cross, our God says your sins are forgiven. That's all it takes to be forgiven. That's all it takes for God to see us as holy. We don't have to offer sacrifices. We don't have to do tons and tons of work. You don't even have to give your firstborn. All you simply have to do is repent of your sins. Simply say, God, you're right. I have done wrong. And he looks at you and he says, you're right. But my son died for you. And because of that, because of your confession, I forgive you of all of your sins. And now, as baptized, redeemed children of God who are saved, I think this is now where our works can apply. We don't do them in order to be saved. We do good works because we're saved. We do good works because we get to, not because we have to. And this is what God means by doing justice and loving kindness. You love your neighbor as yourself. You serve your neighbor. You remind them by loving them, by living a just life, that there is a God in heaven who loves them, and you are a witness to the love that God has given. Amen. Remember to walk humbly with your God. Remember to walk in the forgiveness of sins that Christ gives. And as you live out that forgiveness, do justice and love kindness. Amen. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we close out, I encourage you, think for yourself. What are some ways that maybe you've falsely tried to offer God a good work in place of what Christ did on the cross? How have you tried to prove yourself to God? I encourage you to think of some of those ways and remind yourself, I don't need to do that because Christ did what he did that work for me on the cross. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Go in peace, and I'll see you next time.